Hi everybody, Elizabeth Haugen here, Marketing and Development Director for Yavapai Humane Society with Allie, our Volunteer Coordinator. Hi everyone. And we are starting Violet and Oreo's wedding. So we're gonna live stream the whole wedding for those of you who maybe are watching from your desks and couldn't come out to the joyous occasion. We don't want you to be left out on all this cuteness. So you gotta stick with us for all of the fun goodness. Say hi for the wedding. Hi. This is Pete, he's one of our new dads, new adopters. So all of the fun is about to start. You gotta take a look at the blushing bride. Here's our Violet. She is so cute in her wedding dress. We'll have to find the groom. Hi, Violet. He's looking for the groom. Hi, beauty. Where's your Oreo? <laughs> she looks pretty cute in her wedding dress. We have so many friends out here today. Our volunteers, supporters. Hey, Dagny. Hi, Roger. Hello. Looking dapper for the wedding. Thank you. Of course, the photographers, Gary and Dagny, are awesome photographers. Can't get enough of this, of course. He's gonna stop her from pulling. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go find Oreo, the groom. We're at the doggy wedding. So this is taking place in the enrichment area of Yavapai Humane Society. It's a space that we've got enough room here. We've got it all set up for the ceremony. And I spot our groom. He's looking dapper. He's looking handsome. You don't have cold feet, do you, Oreo? <laughs> hi, bud. Hey, say hi, bud. Oreo is here with his best man, <laughs> Rachel. <laughs> Rachel's one of our behaviors okay. here at the shelter. Raquel, I like uh, that. Rachel, can you tell us a little bit about how you discovered that Oreo and Violet would be a forever match? Well, Oreo came to the shelter and she was a little bit shut down, a little bit shy. Um, Oreo, on the other hand, with other dogs, was very, very outgoing. Yeah. So we just decided to see if they would... There we go. Great, we're back. Oh, so we're going to do the nuptials soon. So they just make each other better together. And that's why we're celebrating this day. Are you excited, Oreo? I will. Yes. <laughs> Everybody needs to come back here and check out the cake that we have ready for the dogs. We have people cake and we have doggy cake, of course. The ingredients were reviewed by our veterinarian and they are all doggy safe, no xylitol. Gotta watch those sweeteners when it comes to your pets. This is human cake. Check out this doggy cake. Maybe Violet to can buy it because she can smell it. Okay, this is doggy cake here. I know it has some fruits. What you're seeing on top there, that frosting, that has bacon bits on top of it. I think that Oreo and Violet are going to dig it. And then they have their bones too. So cute. People have been bringing gifts for them. So much fun. If you can't come today and you want to give a wedding gift to the couple, they're millennials, so they, they like cash. And you can just donate to yavapaihumane.org and you can help Oreo and Violet and all their friends here at the shelter. You gotta stick around. Oh, I see a special guest. Let's say hi to our friend. Hi Mary, we're live streaming the oh, wedding right gosh, now. This is so exciting. You want to say hi to anybody watching? I'll just say hi to everybody. <laughs> we're here celebrating Oreo and Violet. And I had to be a part of this. Now have you done a doggy wedding before? This is my very first doggy wedding. <laughs> Mine too, you're in good company. I am so excited. I said, I can't miss this. Yeah, this is super there fun. There's nothing going on, so I'm like, I'm going to go sneak in and see this it's wedding. It's an important occasion. Such an important Awesome. Occasion. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, thank you for having us. Appreciate you guys are you. wonderful. All the work that you're doing. And I appreciate you guys. I support you guys, and that's why I had to be here. Keeping our so pets thank safe. You. Thank, thank you. you. Awesome. Well, we have so many special people coming out here to see our guests of honor, Oreo and Violet. Violet here is being handled by our operations director, Jason Marchesano. Jason is giving Violet away today as his, that's his little baby girl. So Jason, tell us about 
how you've seen Violet and Oreo together and why they're different as opposed to when they're apart. So Oreo and Violet, apart, have some behavioral issues that don't make it ideal for them to be adopted by themselves. Yeah. But together, they really equal each other out, and they are friendly and playful and are energetic and much more, let's say... Happy. <laughs> comfortable, happy. <laughs> happy and comfortable. People, so... She's getting she really excited. Now. Yeah, I can tell. She's, She's got her eye down the aisle. I'm sure that she can't wait to, to walk down and do her vows. Now, yeah. I have an insider information that we have, instead of wedding rings, we have a different gift that they'll be exchanging. They will be exchanging collars. Oh, my goodness. Can you show me where they are? So, Violet will be giving Oreo the red collar. Awesome. So, this one is Oreo's. <laughs> yes. Great. And Oreo will be giving Violet the pink collar. Awesome. For Valentine's Day. So, this is what they're exchanging instead of rings. A lot of fun. I know that she is really getting antsy to get the wedding started. Yes. She wants to go get her man. <laughs> Can you... <laughs> Ryan, can you help me? Can you tighten her veil? Oh, her veil needs to be fixed. Can I do this a little? Hi, Violet. Notice there's a knot stuck on it. Now, this is a lot of attention that Violet's getting today. How do you think she feels about all this attention? I think she's excited. Yeah. And I think she's a little nervous. nervous. I she's agree. She's probably a little nervous today. It's a big day. What blushing bride um, is not a little yeah, nervous? Yeah, exactly. But I think she's going to do all right. She's going to yeah. go through it. She's going to have a great day. And it'll be the best day of her life. It will be the best day of her life. The beginning of her new forever That's with Oreo. Yeah. We're talking here with Ryan Henderson. He's our operations manager. <laughs> Ryan, did you know that these two were going to be soulmates when they came in? They did not come in together. They were separate. Yeah, so. they, they didn't come in together. We had no idea they were going to be soulmates. And it was actually through a lot of trials and a lot of taking them out and letting them play together that we yeah. realized that they were soulmates. So yeah. that's a benefit to our behavior team here at YHS. Yeah, we've got an awesome team. We were talking mm -hmm. earlier with Rachel about how they really complement one another yeah. and help each other. So, yeah, play groups is a great thing that we do here at the Humane Society. Can you kind of tell me? what they do and why we try playgroups? Well, playgroups serve a couple of different reasons. Uh, we like to see how the dogs get along and how they interact with the big group of dogs. So the sure. best way to do that is in a neutral environment where they can all hang out and it's supervised by staff. And we just make sure everybody gets along. And there's different ways you can do it uh, to introduce the dogs in. And, and yeah. we, we always find dogs that get along with everybody and we'll use them as our neutral there test dogs. There you go, they're our neutral dogs. Yeah, yeah they're, they're just, happy to meet everybody. So exactly. now tell me, you are in charge of our, our adoptions team. Yes. And so you and your crew are going to be looking for an ideal home for Violet and Oreo. What do you think that'll look like? Uh, it's going to have some space for them to run around and play. Yeah. Um, they're going to, someone that's going to take care of them, take them out on walks together, take them to the dog parks together, let them just be the social active pups that they can be. Right. And they've got to be a really loving, patient couple, too, because um, they can be a little uh, testy, both of them. But, Nobody's nervous. Yeah, they can be a little scared and nervous, and they can... But, uh, but I think that if they find a loving home, they'll settle right in and they'd be great family pets. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're looking for an active family mm -hmm. that is ready to keep Oreo and Violet learning and helping them grow together. Yes. I mean, who, who shouldn't work on their marriage, <laughs> That's honestly? True. That's true. They should, they should be married forever. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> She's looking beautiful. Her wedding dress fits. Let's get a look at this wedding dress. Look at the detail. Uh-huh. I wonder, this is clearly not off the rack. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, custom made for Violet. That is right. It is really fun. The reason that we're doing this today is obviously it's, it's great attention for Oreo and Violet. Um, these two are a great match, but we know it's not always easy to find a home that's ready for two dogs at one time. And so we know that the right one is out there just looking for their perfect pet. 
and that someone will open their heart and home to Violet and Oreo. So we're doing this to give them a little extra attention, but we're also doing this to show the celebrations that we have at the Humane Society. There's a lot of love here for our pets. Um, a lot of heart and soul has gone into these guys. She is so ready for him. And so we have to celebrate all of that hard work that our team puts in together. So something special to show you. The rose petals are now on the aisle. I have a feeling that this wedding is about to get started. Allie, what's happening next? Well, I just put the rose petals down and it sounds like Matt's getting ready to officiate. So I think we're ready to get started. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so a little insider tip. Up front, you will see Matt Buckholz standing next to the best man, Rachel. Matt Buckholz is our new hope and foster coordinator. So he's doing a lot of work, but he's also serving as our officiant today. So that's pretty exciting. Here we go. buddy. Um, he found a companion, a playmate, and a snuggle buddy. These guys are coming here today, or with us at the shelter here. Um, they get along great and hang out all day together. They play together, eat together, sleep together, and hopefully find a home together. So, before, or we might as well get to it. Let's exchange some vows. <laughs> all right. So, do you have a call, or do you want to present your caller? Or, or you want to present your caller? <laughs> <laughs> They're so excited. <laughs> the collars are being exchanged. I love that you can see Violet's tail wagging underneath her dress. <laughs> Get a room, you two. <laughs> We have Diane Gray. She's offering a little helping hand here. Thank you, Diane. Volunteer to All right. We'll start with Mr. Oreo. Do you, Oreo, take Violet to snuggle and to play in naps and after vet visits? <laughs> to share your shoe toy at play and your dog bed at rest? Yes. Yes. <laughs> And do you, Violet, take Oreo to snuggle and play in naps and after vet visits? To share your chew toys at play and your dog bed at rest? She does. Oh, right up. <laughs> so, by the power vested in me in some obscure dog marriage site, <laughs> I want to present to you for the first time anywhere, Mr. and Mrs. Oreo and Violet. <laughs> Thank you. 